Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Busy day for me today. I've had absolutely loads of parcels. Just picked this one up which is a top storage box that I'm going to be putting on the roof. Here in this big one is a front cratch cover, cover which I'll be putting up at a later date in, in another video of course. And I've got this one as well which is, if you notice the little picture there, happens to be a wall plate rack which I'll be putting just up there. So the point of the video today is me putting this together and getting it on the wall. Now I ordered this, uh, what's the date? Okay, I ordered this 10 days ago and it was supposed to be a UK seller, etc, etc. They never are, well they hardly ever are. It normally arrives almost a month later from China. So, And I don't begrudge anybody making money and getting stuff from China. But when they tell you that they're a UK seller and you expect it to be delivered to you within a few days and then of course it isn't it uh, pisses you off to be quite honest well it does me anyway so straight off the bat this is all damaged which is fantastic that is really bad look at it I don't know if you're gonna see that damage it's there on it the worst of it is at the top there and that's just the first piece that I've took out unbelievable what's this one like this one is okay and I didn't realize it, it it's so white I could have swore it was a cream one that I ordered. Oh, I, I, I could have swore it was cream. <laughs> okay, so that's where the actual plates sit in there. Uh, that looks pretty good to be fair. Right. Um, I hate this polystyrene stuff. It gets absolutely everywhere. Right, I can feel the finish on that is rough. That is really rough. The outer part isn't too bad. Where the damage is on this, I've been quite lucky because it's on the inner parts and not the outer parts, which you won't really see because I guarantee you 100% I'd be putting in for the refund. I guarantee you that one. Right. Come on. Oh, why do the seller take the nuts and bolts into the bloody bottom? Oh, so, th this is why I hate this styrofoam stuff. And if we've got any instructions at all. Ha oh, ha! Happy days. Look at it. It's everywhere. Horrible stuff. Absolutely horrible. Oh, come on. I'm trying to make a video here. It's giving on. Right. I would have thought. It's supposed to have two of these. That's the inner part. I might be wrong. Let's have a look at the instructions. I'm going to put that there and use it as a kind of little table. So, Lieber Kunde. Okay. Dear buyer, would you like to return something or have a complaint? If you have any questions, go away. Uh, 
Ah, right, okay, so that's a top part, that is. So, okay. Okay. Right then, let's get our bag of knickknacks out. And we have there the cup holders. They're wall mounting brackets. I don't know, what's that? Hardware? Uh, okay. Screws and dowels. So we're going to need the scroll, scrolls, screws, and the dowels, I think. Let's get them over there. I don't know what that hardware thing is. No idea. Let's have these dowels out. So, according to that, we need that part. And as it got one, two, three, four sections with that, because that is going on there apparently, like that. But does it go that way or that way? I think it goes on the outside like that myself. So, whoa. Let's whack a couple of dowels in, like so. There goes my phone, and I guarantee you my phone will be going off all the time because it always does. We've got a screw going in there, and a screw going in there. Now, my little drill, I haven't charged this for a few weeks. So, I don't know how long this is going to last. No idea. I want these nice and tight. I'm not over going too mad with it though. Okay, that's our first little bit. Right, on to phase two. Ah, phase two don't look good. does not look good so which is that's the outer part and that's going like that mm. okay so one two so one two three right it's a little bit awkward doing this like this and recording it because I'm trying to do it so you can actually see what I'm doing. I mean, I've got three dowels in here. According to that, that is going to just... Is it going to just slot straight in there? Like that? That don't look like it is to me. Do you think it goes that way? Because this just don't look right. It's going to go like that. Okay. I mean, relay, I should have this. On a flat surface. But in the interests of making a YouTube video, I'm just doing it so you can see it. Now, the thing is with this, if I put that one on up there, which is where it goes, that means I'm going to have limited space here and I'm going to have to jam these racks and things in which I don't want to do that. So, that's the back, that's going to go in like that, I believe, so let's have this one in, like so. Let's 
have a screw. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sound good, does it? happy with that. Then we've got the front rack which is that screws or dowels? Hmm. Is that flush there? Okay it's flush there and there. Once it's all put together I'll give you a proper look at this um, and if you've noticed I do tend to talk to myself a lot when I'm doing things. It's alright, I'm looking at the finish on the outside and this side looks better than the other in all fairness. So I think we're going to have that like that. Let's get us a couple of screws out. Just gonna put that in a little bit, not too much. Okay. Right, that's that side. Lovely. Job late. Right then, we need one, two, three, four dowels. And as luck would have it, all we've got left is four. One, two, three. Normally, in these packs, they'll put an extra one in, and they haven't on this one. They'll put an extra one of each of the screws, the dowels, etc. And with this one, they ain't done it. So it's uh, not the best when these companies do that. You know, they should uh, put you an extra one in, I think. I mean, if they make a million of the things, it probably costs them a quid don't cost a lot. Okay, want to get these bottom ones in. Like so. Last but not least, this little one over here. Don't really like doing videos at this time because well, it's 25 past five, so you're losing the light and that, and it's not good. That's our plate rack, folks. <laughs> Let me give you a little look. Here she is. Really simple to put together. And like I say, I mean, it's all white. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> That's enough of the rubbish jokes. I'm not sure if I'm going to carry on recording while I'm putting it on the wall. I know that I should, and I think I'm going to, even though I'm losing the light in here. So I'll apologise beforehand um, if the light isn't the best. But I don't want to wait until tomorrow to put this up. I'd rather get it done uh, this after, well, early evening now. So I'll move the camera 
and we'll see how we get on. Right then, I've moved the camera, I've marked out the height where I want this to be. So what I need to do is measure the width of the two screw holes. So we are looking at Do you know what? Let me do it so you can see. <laughs> Don't destroy the kitchen first. <laughs> right, I'm just measuring that hole to that hole. So we are looking at bang on 17 point, yeah, 17.1 inches. That will be the space. So going to mark the wall right there then I'm going to go 17.1 away from there which is smack bang there right What did I do with the screws? Here they are. Now because that's a wooden background, I'm not going to need these to put the screws into. They are quite long, I mean they're, they're well over an inch long, them screws are. So let's have a look. How deep do they go in? Let's have a look at that torch. Right. In, in there, there's a little recess in there, which it looks to me like it's about, okay, that's how big, that's how deep the recess is. If you look at the point of that to where my finger is. So that's basically how much room we've got with this screw. I'm going to put that there like that. Okay. Right. I'm going to double check my lengths. So 17. the next one in right let's have a look to see if this is lined up properly That's lined up properly. I'm going to get my spirit level now and see how we're looking. Right, the problem is on the boat. When I move, the boat's moving, so the spirit level's moving. <laughs> right, I'm going to try and stop moving. So, yeah, that is bang on. Very happy with that. Right. Let's check our spacing. Remember we had that little bit of space at the back? So that one could do with tightening a little tiny touch, but not much. Right, let's see how that one is.
Oh, is that one tight? Okay, yeah. I am very happy with that. So let me try and give you a little closer look at it. It does come out the wall a little bit, as you can see at the side, but I'm not that bothered about that because I've got plenty of room to get through the hallway there. But yeah, overall, I'm quite pleased with that. Got a couple of holes where I had previous things there before. Little dab of paint on there, not a problem. So I'm gonna get some plates on there and we'll come back and see what it looks like. Right then, put a few plates in there. So let me give you a little once over view of this. And I have put them in different ways. So they're facing each other, which I prefer the look of that. I mean, you could have them all going in that way, but I, uh, I wanted something just a little bit different. But what I did forget to do was put these little hooks in them. And there are the holes for them under here, which are obviously the mug or cup holders. So let's put these in. You'll hear a little bit of vibration because I've got the engine running. My hot water comes from either the engine or a shoreline hooker, uh, depending on how I want to do it uh, or where I am basically. Or you can even heat the water through the generator, which is obviously electricity. But when I put the engine on, because I'm just basically sitting here, yeah, things do vibrate a little bit. If I was cruising or anything like that um, and not moored up, you wouldn't get any vibrations. So there ain't a lot I can do about it and I'll be quite honest, it doesn't bother me all that much. I've got quite used to it. And in less than an hour's time, I'm going to have piping hot water, so it doesn't really bother me all that much. Bit of useless info for you. <laughs> and after an hour, turn the engine off and no more vibration. But the thing is, you... Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> you get used to it, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> it's because I'm concentrating on one thing, doing another. So. Is that in? Yep, that's it. And is the last one going to go? Where are you? It's all right, I'm, feel, I'm just feeling, there it is. There's little pre-screwed holes under here. So I'm just feeling for where they actually go. Okay, one last turn and that one's done. So I've got, I've got another rack behind you can't see it there let me just quickly show you this one that's another one that I brought and I obviously had the cups in there but don't need them there now because I've got this so let's have all of these off here And I'm not 100% if I'm gonna keep these cups on here like this, because when the boat's moving, I don't want 
then whacking together like that. So, so I think for display purposes when I'm moored up, yeah, that's fine. But when the boat's moving, I don't think I'm going to keep them there. They're, they're way too uh, close together for my liking and it's going to chip or at least take the, you know, the finish off the cups. So let me give you a last loving look at that. And overall, I'm quite pleased with it. Little bit of room at the top to put whatever up there. Don't know what I'm going to put up there to be quite honest with you, but I'm sure I'll find something or other because space is a massive premium on these narrow boats, and it's only when you move onto one that you realise just how much of a premium space is. But overall, I'm proper happy with that. Not bad at all. <laughs> right then, I think I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. There's links to my other YouTube channel, which is for home brewing, and there's also a link for my Instagram, where I post, th there's hundreds of pictures on there already, but things that I'm doing on the boat, places that I go to, there's loads of stuff on there. Send a follow request and I'll just add you to that. So, I'll catch you in the next episode, so bye for now.